am Pawan. <coughs> Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. See students, we have been talking about what do animals eat chapter. In the last video, we have talked about how do leeches get their food and how do earthworms get their food and what are the body parts and you know what are the body parts helping these animals to get their food. What is the food of the leech and what is the uh, food of earthworm and snails and what are the body parts helping them you know what are the body parts helping them the body part that helps them to get their food is sucker they have suckers in its mouth their mouth they have suckers in their mouth and they suck the blood who suck the blood leeches suck the blood and earthworms they suck the wet organic matter present in the soil okay and even snails also suck the wet organic matter present in the soil okay students and like this they get their food and also we have talked about what are uh, nocturnals nocturnals are the animals which come out during only during night time for their food and get their food okay examples also i have taught you in the last class in this video what i'm going to talk to you is balance in the nature what is that what is this what is balance in the nature nature is not your own or my own or somebody's one's own property nature is everybody's property you know the every living thing has right to live on the earth in the nature okay we are nobody to distract the nature we should not distract the nature like you know uh, by killing a kind of uh, living things like plants or other animals and all. But we have to protect them. We have to conserve the nature. We have to what? Conserve the nature. Conserve means to protect. We have to protect the nature by taking care of living things present in the nature. What is the name of the lesson? What is the relation between the topic that I am teaching uh, now and the lesson? The animals live in the nature. They get their food from the nature. And if we damage the food, you know, the different animals have different food habits, right? Majorly, the animals eat plants and animals. Animals get food from plants and animals, okay? If there are no plants at all, what about the animals which depend only on the plants? They may also disappear soon. If there are no plants, that means if there are no, if there are no plants in the nature, the animals which depend only on plants will also disappear. Okay? And the herbivores get disappear soon if there are no plants and if there is something like you know that the animals which depend only on flesh of other animals take one example like tiger if only tiger only tigers are present on the earth and also plants present on the earth only tigers and plants no other living things present on the earth. If you think like that, you just assume. What is the situation of the tigers? Do they get food? Actually, what is the food habit of tiger? They get food, flesh of other animals, right? They get food from flesh of other animals. <clears throat> but I said that there is, there, there is no other living thing except tiger and plants. Uh, do the tigers depend on plants for their food? No. Ultimately what will happen? The tigers will also die for their hunger. Okay? Like this, we have a great responsibility to conserve all the living things present in the nature. So. Uh, that means here on the whole we can understand the living things depend upon other living things for their food. The living things depend upon other living things. One living thing depends upon other living thing for their food. Okay, 
uh, the dependence you know the interdependence this is called interdependence of the living things for their food remember this st statement students uh, what here let me write inter dependence not independence sorry interdependence inter means one living thing depends upon another living thing okay right see students interdependence mm, that one word other word i want to introduce here intra different intra dependence intra means interdependence means one living thing one x living thing depends upon y and y the living thing depends upon x this is interdependent the arrow mark uh, makes us understand that this depends upon this and this depends upon this x depends upon y y depends upon x like this but this is interdependence if you say intradependence intra means x in x but is it possible x means a kind of living thing for example take frog here also frog does a frog depend upon another frog for their food for its food does a frog depend upon another frog for its food no right this will not happen okay this is only the main uh, thing this is only the main thing happening in the nature like interdependence okay uh, so why do the living things depend upon one another one another why do the living things depend upon one another what to get their food to get their food so simultaneously what is happening balance in nature okay simultaneously what is happening balance in nature is also happening okay a kind of living thing get a kind of living thing gets its food on other living thing and other living thing that i said right here uh, interdependence i said right uh, a living thing which x depends upon y but it's not for sure that y should depend upon x y may depend upon z z may depend upon x again z may depend upon a a may depend upon b b may depend upon y like this there is a zigzag web like structure web like structure in dependence of their food in uh, what uh, a zigzag structure web like structure you know web like structure web like structure in interdependence of animals animals for their food okay this web like structure here i said right x may depend upon y but it's not for sure that y should depend upon x it may depend upon z or z may depend upon x again z may depend upon a a may depend upon b b may depend upon y again 
B may depend upon A, B may depend upon Z, like this. There is no a proper way. Okay? We do not eat only meat of goat, right? We may eat meat of hen as well. Okay? Like this. This is web-like structure. This is web-like structure. This is nothing but food chain. Food chain. So, I think you have understood what is food chain. In a single sentence, we can say that what is food chain? The interdependence of living things for their food is food chain. Okay? What is the concept that we have been talking here? Here in this video? We have been talking about what? Food chain. Okay, right? What is food chain? What is food chain? Inter interdependence of living things for their food is called food chain okay is called what food chain say for example say for example uh, if you take a pond uh, the frogs live in pond and fish live in pond what are the living things live in pond? Some small creatures live in pond. And sometimes you see that crane getting its food, you know. What is this? Crane. Crane gets its food. Crane depends upon the creatures living in water for its food. Creatures living like, you know, you can take larvae. Larvae of frog, larvae of fish etc. And even uh, small fish. And sometimes you see small frogs. Okay, small frogs like this. So, if there are no fish or if there are no frogs, if there are no larvae in the water, how does the crane live? Ultimately, it will die because of it dies for hunger, okay? Because of hunger, right? So, like this, you can understand how the 
interdependence is present among the living things in the nature. Now I wanted to give an assignment uh, how the food chain is present among the living things. You know I said that there is a web like structure, web like what structure. For example, you take rat, cat, lion, grass, deer, fox, dog, tiger, hen, wolf, man, worms. Okay, students, what you have to do is you have to draw the line, web line. I have taught you, right? how a living thing x depends upon other living thing y and uh, y depends upon other living thing z. The y may depend upon x as well but the dependence may be in zigzag ok. It is not a straight, it is not like a straight line right. So, you have to draw arrow lines between the living things that depend upon, ok, they interdepend upon. For instance, I will do like this, rat, you know, cat eats, here I will use black marker. Yeah. Let us start here. Cat eats rat. Lion eats cat. F lion eats fox. Deer eats grass. Okay. And tiger eats deer. Tiger eats dog. Okay. And other living things that you have to do on your own as homework. Okay, students. I am doing only for these students, rest of the thing you have to do on your own. Ok students, ok students thank you, thank you for listening, thank you one and all. Ok in the next video we will talk about, in the next video we will talk about ants and how ants find their food, get their food and catch their food ok and the wonder world of ants that we will see in the next class. Okay, thank you. Here a small thing that I wanted to teach you, there should be balanced nature. So naturally the nature makes itself balanced, but what is the thing happening here that why is it getting disturbed? Some examples let me give you. Actually some living things depend upon plants like some worms, some insects which damage our crops, right? If we are growing crops, some uh, pests, some insects, they damage our crop by eating the crop. Then what we will do? We will use some fertilizers, you know, to kill the worms, insects, pests. Actually these worms are eaten by frog and other living things, ok. But here if we kill these insects and pests, the frogs will die.
because the frogs depend upon these insects and pests as uh, their food right if we kill them what will happen ultimately the frogs will also die so here who is invading into the balanced nature to disturb it human beings are playing a major role in disturbing or distracting the balanced nature right uh, you see that uh, we kill the worms using we kill the insects using insecticides pests using pesticides you know if the frogs eat the dead insects or pests ultimately the frogs will also die okay like this there is a disturbed the web is disturbed the web so there is started the disturbed web okay here if there are no cats if there are if there is no grass okay like that in the beginning of this video i taught you right like that you know pesticides and insecticides we should not use to kill the worms we should use some other things like uh, natural we have to grow the plants using natural manures okay students